Hi, this is Amy Padula, esteemed counselor at Envoy Medical, and I'm talking about the esteemed hearing implant today, which is a solution for patients with uh, moderate to severe sensory neural hearing loss. A question that we often get is, what is the first step? Sometimes someone means, what is the first step towards looking into the esteemed hearing implant? And sometimes we get the question just, I think I have hearing loss, where should I start? And really in both of those instances, the place to start is to go and get your hearing tested. We always recommend going to an audiologist who has extensive experience in, in testing hearing and understanding what those, those tests are showing. Um, there are many different types of hearing loss and, and there are many different solutions uh, for all of those types. So you really need to get a baseline as to what, what your kind of picture of your hearing loss looks like. Um, after your testing is done, you get kind of a chart that, that shows you, you know, all of the testing results on a piece of paper. It's called an audiogram. And, and that's really a, a good kind of um, picture of where you're at, what type of loss you have, and, and can be a big factor in determining what solutions might be best for you. Um, but some people have never had their hearing tested, and so I thought I'd talk a little bit about what you might experience when you go and get your hearing tested. So you would contact an audiologist. Um, there are also uh, hearing aid dispensers that are licensed to do testing, so you know they can they can perform a test as well. Um, and what happens is they're going to take you into their office, greet you, and they're going to put you in a booth. Hearing is tested in a soundproof booth, so it's kind of a room you sit in. It usually has a window, and they're going to get kind of a map of what your hearing loss looks like. And when they do the testing, they do one ear and then the other ear. So there's lots of back and forth with the tester coming into the booth and, and switching up, you know, the ear inserts and that sort of thing. Uh, the first test they generally do is called ear conduction testing. And they would put, you know, an insert in my left ear if they were testing my left ear. And they'd give me a button to, to press when I heard different beeps. And they're going to play different beeps that are low and high and soft and loud. And my job is to press the button when I hear those beeps. Um, the next test that's, that's often performed is bone conduction testing, and it's more of a kind of a headphone that, that you wear outside of your head, so it's kind of a vibration you can, you can feel in addition uh, to the, the insert in the ear. And they're going to, you know, play some different vibrations, tones, and you're going to once again press the button when you hear those tones. So those are the two, you know, most common tests to kind of figure out a picture of what your hearing loss looks like. The third test that's generally done is called a word discrimination test or a speech discrimination test. And this is a test that really is gauging what your understanding is. So now we're looking at words. And when you hear words, um, how well do you hear them? And so this test is, is not focused on volume. Uh, the audiologist tester will um, put the volume at a comfortable level and they, you will get a list of words, one by one, about 20 words, and they will say the word and ask you to repeat it back. Obviously, this test can be aggravating because sometimes you think, what did I just hear? Okay, you're probably going to get some wrong, but at the end, what you will get is a picture of how well you're understanding words. Um, the fourth test is, is often done, I should say, but not always. It's, it's called um, tim tympanometry testing, and it's testing the movement of your eardrum. So it's called a tympanogram. And it's, it's a test where you don't have to do anything. They put an insert in your ear, and um, you just kind of feel a little bit of pressure build up and then stop. After your test, you see all of this on a graph, and the, the tester will go over a little bit about what type of loss you have, what range it's in, and what solutions might be available to you. We always recommend getting a copy of this test. It can be a lot to take in, you don't always understand what you're hearing, and oftentimes you're confronted with more of a loss than you thought you had, and it's good to have that on file for, as, for when you start looking into potential solutions. Um, I, I've had my hearing tested literally hundreds of times. Struggled with hearing loss for, you know, probably 20 years of my 40-something my year uh, lifestyle. And they are aggravating. It's like take, going in to take a test that you know you're going to fail. But 
this is the first step towards understanding why you're struggling and then looking at what solutions might be best for you. So start with getting an audiogram, keep hold of a copy if you decide to look into the esteem. You know, you can certainly send in the audiogram to us and we'll give you an idea as to whether the esteem could be a solution you, you could look at for your loss or whether maybe there's some other solutions that might be a better fit. Um, if you have questions, please feel free to give us a call. You can always call me directly or email me directly. My number's on the screen. Uh, and I hope that this gives you a little bit of an idea of what to expect if you're ready to venture out and get a new hearing test. Thanks.